Hi everyone, welcome to Pound Zero. My name is Amelia and this is my weight loss journey. It is the first weekend of March 2018, which means you're due for a measurements update. Or I'm due. One of the two. We'll go with it. So I'm going to jump straight into it, as we do have quite a bit of information to get through today. My indiscretions for this week were, well, this fortnight really, because I missed last week's vlog, and it was numerous. Last weekend, I didn't do the vlog, because I had my wedding anniversary, which was full of food I should not have been eating. It was not on the diet. Any of it. So... Leading up to the weekend was actually quite good. I was very, very well behaved. But Friday evening rocked around. We had burgers. We had chips. We had fries. We had maple bacon fries. They were amazing. Not going to eat them terribly often, but it worked. It worked. I think it would have gone well with sour cream. Husband thinks it should be ice cream. I reckon both would work, depending on what time of the meal you were having it. Point is, not on the diet. Mm. There were more donuts than anyone should ever eat in a singular sitting. They were so good. They were hot too, like fresh hot donuts. It's probably why we ate them all in one sitting. <laughs> Don't do that. It's bad. So much bad. We had concretes. It's that frozen custard with toppings and fillings and sugar. <laughs> so much sugar. Bouncing off the ceiling. It was good though. So good. And then there was pizza. There was pizza. Like takeaway pizza. It was takeaway shop pizza. It was so good. So tasty. But, after a weekend with that much food, <laughs> the way in did not go quite to plan. So I'm just going to crack into the way in and just get this nasty out of the way. So just to recap, when I started my weight loss journey at the beginning of 2017, I weighed in at 120 kilos or 264.5 pounds. When I weighed in at the beginning of 2018, after trying numerous different things and finding out what worked and what didn't for me, I weighed in at 106.5 kilos or 234.7 pounds. So last fortnight, which is the last video I did, I weighed in at 106 kilos on the nose, or 233.7 pounds. Last week, after eating so much food, and then more after I actually weighed myself, I still weighed myself. So I wouldn't, you know, completely off the reservation, I just didn't do a video about it. And well... I came in at 111.2 kilos. Or 245.1 pounds. I put on 5 kilos in a weekend. I think I did the same thing about this time last year too, didn't I? I went to Sydney on a day trip and ate a whole bunch of stuff that I shouldn't have eaten and put on a stack of weight. <laughs> 
never mind. This week, after I got dragged myself back up onto that wagon, exercised more regularly, all the rest of it, I weighed in at 109.2 kilos or 240.7 pounds. So in terms of my weight loss, we are not on track. Not anywhere near it. I'm going up. This is fine. But, but, I am aware. I did these, I, I went into last weekend knowing full well it was going to derail me and my efforts. And the week following, I have been extremely well behaved and even upping the ante a little. So my exercise was, well, it wasn't entirely on par. I, I have been out running. I have been doing my body weight exercises. Um, I didn't get in. Oh, I got in one mountain climb in the last fortnight. It wasn't great. Um, I've had this really, I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. I, I simply haven't been sleeping. I, something has clicked and I have been bright eyed and bushy tailed until about 2 AM. This is not normal. And then my alarm goes off and of course, by that point, I am way too shattered to get out of bed. So I, I'm trying to fix my body clock. I'm not sure what's causing that, that, that. You know, complete alertness until the wee hours of the morning but I'm, I'm working very hard to try and correct it regardless um, which also means NSV non-scale victory I have just upped my weights in my workouts I am extremely sore and questioning my life choices but I am obviously improving if I'm needing more weight to to get the same workout so yay something good happened this fortnight we'll go with it take the win so just to close out that little circle i have put on weight i have started losing it again i have had a non-scale victory being my weights but the overall goals i'm not quite getting there i'm not quite on track for that so i'm gonna try a lot harder and keep myself on the straight and narrow at least for like this week one week at a time one problem at a time we'll just take it and in that interest I'm going to start setting myself some challenges because I really think I need something else to report on that will help me set better habits this is intended to move into physical challenges but in the short term given my body clocks doing weird weird things i'm not sure what's happening here we'll try and fix it oh, this squeaky chair i really need to get a new chair this is mm. anyway my challenge my march challenge which i have met to date it's been four days <laughs> i have challenged myself for the entire month to not hit the snooze button in the morning this probably doesn't sound like a massive challenge, but my alarm does go off at 5 a.m. for me to get out of bed and exercise. I am aiming to exercise in the morning. I do try to exercise in the morning because I just don't have time in the afternoons. Like it's, it's, there are so many other things that need to be done before you crawl into bed and it's, Everything else will take priority over exercise. And I, I it's taken me a long time to realize. And I was like, oh, oh. So, getting up in the morning, 5 a.m., get out and exercise, just crack it out, get it done with, and then you can move on with the rest of your day. So, all of March, not hitting that snooze button. Setting positive habits. This is what this is about. <sighs> Come on this journey with me. Let's see if we can do this. Now, of course, it is the first of the month, therefore I need to update my measurements. All in my little book here, with all my notes. Ah! So, so, scrolling them up the screen, in January 18, my neck 
it's 41 centimeters or 16.1 inches in February it was 40 centimeters 15.6 inches and this morning it measured in at 39.5 centimeters or 15.5 inches my bust in January 18 was 125 centimeters or 49.2 inches put this in front <laughs> My, in February, it measured in at 123 centimetres or 48.4 inches. And this morning, it measured in at 123 centimetres or 48.4 inches. My waist in January came in at 117 centimetres or 46 inches. In February, it was 110.5 centimetres or 43.5 inches and this morning it measured in at 112 centimeters or 44 inches I'm just going to point out um, a little try and be delicate about it but for me myself it is also that time of the month so I am a little bloated I'm not concerned about sizes that have gone up but this is going to happen from time to time um, but you know, when you got the first weekend is when you're actually doing your measurements it's gonna come and go my hips my hips measured in at 18 in january 18 at 121.5 centimeters or 47.8 inches in february they were 118.5 centimeters or 46.6 inches and this morning they were at 119.5 centimeters or 47 inches there's an itch my thighs my thigh measured in in january 18 at 69.6 centimeters or 27.3 inches in february it was 71 centimeters or 27.9 inches and this morning it was a hefty 68 centimeters or 26.7 inches it's all that running and mountain climbing i'm sure my bicep my bicep measured in january at 35 centimeters or 13.7 inches in february it measured in at 34 centimeters or 13.3 inches and this morning it measured in at 36 centimeters or 14.1 inches and finally my bmi in january was at 32.8 in february 32.3 and in march it's back up to 33 also something else to work on so there it is for your nice speedy sunday afternoon weigh in video not everything has gone to plan and things are a little more bloaty than i would like but them's the brakes back on the wagon and i've got a lot more support behind me these days so i am going to be doing so much better <laughs> i'm i'm sure of it i am absolutely sure of it I'm going to leave the video there for today. I hope you enjoyed what you have seen. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out down there-ish somewhere. And next to subscribe is a little bell. If you give that a tap, you'll get a notification of when I load up new videos. Also down in the description is my Twitter and my Instagram accounts. Follow me there for tips, tricks, pictures, motivation, whatever I find useful on my journey I'll throw up there and hopefully someone else will find it helpful too coming up this week I do have that demo video from the Bella box I did last week uh, with the face mask and the BB cream I think it was give it a go see how it all turns out and I next week I should also have a clothing review for you guys for exercise active wear that is actually active wear I'm hoping particularly with squats no one wants to see <laughs> through your leggings when you're doing squats so until next week be healthy and be good to each other bye So it's going to be a slightly longer, ooh, let's try that again. So just to recap, when I started my weight loss journey at the beginning of 2017, I've got an itch, it's going to go, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> and, and keep myself on the straight and narrow, narrow, on, was at one, 
don't forget to hit also down in the description is my twinter twinter oh my goodness it's autumn in australia does that does, no not even close there is no reason for that <laughs> this week i do have that demo video that i promised from <coughs> My new light has the worst battery life ever. It's already fading. It's ridiculous. Let's stick it back on a charge. Coming up this week, I and it's just switched off. Why? Why do I even bother?